What's up guys? Today's video we are eating all new fast food items for 24 hours. The first place that we are at is Dunkin Donuts because they actually just released their new summer menu and they actually have a lot of new items out right now. Also sorry if you guys can hear the rain. It is super nasty out today and it is pouring right now. But yeah okay so Dunkin has a new blueberry donut iced coffee as well as a vanilla frosted donut signature latte. So I thought that the blueberry donut sounded a little more summery so I got a small blueberry donut iced coffee and then they also have a watermelon burst donut as well as a green goddess wrap and then they also have a new kiwi watermelon duncan refresher so i did get a small version of that as well so those are the four new items that we're going to be trying at duncan i did already place my order online just because i feel like if i go through the drive through <laughs> they may tell me that they're out of an item but i feel like online ordering you know they'll just give it to us Okay, let's pop into the drive-thru. Thank you for choosing Duncan. What can I get started for you? Hi, I have a mobile order for Daisy. Okay, you can pull one up. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, you guys, we secured our Dunkin' orders, and I actually took a peek at the donut, and it looks so delicious. The last time I had a new donut at Dunkin', I was a little bit disappointed because it was kind of stale, but I think this one is going to be really good. Okay, that rain is insane. I was not expecting this. Okay, I think the rain has kind of calmed down, so it's not as loud. I feel like I look so summery today, and then it's super freaking rainy and dreary out, but at least we look sunny and summery i have this beach boys t-shirt on and it is absolute perfection okay anyways on to our duncan order okay i think i'm actually going to try the drinks first so this is the kiwi watermelon refresher it is so gorgeous look at the color i feel like i already know this one's gonna be good okay it kind of tastes like a watermelon starburst if you like fruity candies you would love this because that's exactly what it tastes like this may seem very generous but i'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. it's not overly artificial tasting it's not overly sweet it's like the perfect amount of sweetness okay now here's the blueberry donut iced coffee and this looks like it's gonna be absolutely delicious now i actually had a blueberry iced coffee from a local coffee shop a few weeks ago and i did not like it at all i don't know if it was the artificial blueberry flavor or if it was just that coffee shop because it was supposed to be an iced coffee and the whole bottom of it was still hot the rest of the ice just melts and it's just a watered down iced coffee but i don't know let's see how the blueberry is from Duncan. Oh my goodness. This is so good. But what's crazy, I actually got a medium by the way, not a small. But um, the medium comes with three donut swirls, three blueberry shots, and three cream. So I don't know if a blueberry shot is just not overly sweet or sugary, but this actually isn't that sugary. It's actually the perfect amount of sweetness. This is so much better than the last blueberry coffee that I had. Like, it's not overly artificial. I mean, I guess it kind of tastes like their blueberry munchkins because their blueberry munchkins aren't, like, absurdly blueberry flavored. You know, it's kind of subtle. Okay, now we have the Green Goddess Wrap, which one of you guys told me that it's really delicious, so I'm excited to try that. And then we have our watermelon donut. Look inside of there is the perfect color we're gonna try this green goddess wrap first though okay this looks actually so delicious look at that whoa i should have got some sauce to go with it but i actually haven't even read what's in here let me see if i can find it okay so it says that the green goddess wrap has a satisfying mix of egg whites farro sun-dried tomatoes spinach feta and green goddess dressing all wrapped in a verdant green lavash okay those are some fancy words but yeah it says green goddess dressing so it shouldn't be too dry okay that is fancy tasting this tastes like a fine dining restaurant on main street in your local city This is so delicious. Mm. This actually may be one of the best food items that Duncan has ever released. Like, they absolutely killed it with this.
Okay, this rain is really intense, but um, I think the biggest flavor that I get in this wrap is the feta. So if you're not a big feta lover, you may not like this, but I feel like the feta is what makes this item taste like more expensive than it is. Not surprising, I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. Time for our watermelon donut. Da, 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 ooh. The powdery is a bit insane. I actually think it's upside down. Okay, there we go. Look at that color. That color is crazy. Okay, this is delicious too. Mmm. Look at my lips. <laughs> Looks like I have a reddish pink lipstick on. Mmm. Yeah, the jelly inside tastes like straight watermelon. Okay, final verdict on the Dunkin' items. Those are insanely amazing, fantastic, yummy. I am so impressed. Refresher was delicious. This coffee, stunning. You guys definitely need to try this one. If you like a nice coffee, that one's perfection. And then the food items were just oh, so delicious. Okay, well, I will see you guys at our next fast food location for more new fast food items. All right, you guys, we are at our next location, which is, of course, my favorite spot ever, and that is Burger King. I am super excited about these new items. They look absolutely amazing. So they have a new Philly Melt. It says, Burger King's new Philly Melt features two flame-grilled Whopper Jr. patties, topped with flame-grilled peppers and onions, melted Swiss cheese, and savory royal sauce on two slices of toasted bread. Wow this rain oh my goodness it's probably so loud today was not a great day to film but it's all good okay and then we're also getting the chicken philly royal crispy wrap this is white meat breast filet savory royal sauce melty swiss cheese So those are like the new Philly items that we're getting. And then they also have mozzarella fries, which I guess are just like their chicken fries, but inside is the like mozzarella cheese instead of chicken. It says that these are mozzarella sticks now made to enjoy on the go. Oh, okay. So they're supposed to be like their mozzarella sticks, but like fry version. Okay, so it's breaded fry shakes, mozzarella, fried until crispy and served with a marinara dip cup. I wonder if we'll get a cheese bowl for these. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, they also have a birthday pie. Should I get this? I feel like I should, because it's new. I mean, this is gonna be a big Burger King order, but like, ooh, we got lots of new items to try. This is a creamy birthday cake flavored pie filling in a cookie crumb crust topped with rainbow color sprinkles, cake bites, and whipped topping. Yes, um, could I do the Philly Melt, please? And then could I also get the Philly Melt Wrap? And then um, could I do uh, whatever the smallest sizes of the mozzarella fries? Yes, and then uh, one birthday pie slice, please, and that's gonna be it. Yep, perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay, I could not hear her at all, but I think we Hi, how's it going? Good. Good day, good day. Yeah, well it's been pouring for like the last hour, hour and a half. Yeah, it can't been off and on though. Yeah, well I came from Kernersville and it wasn't bad and then as soon as I got to Greensboro it was like pounding. Bad. Yeah, no, it wasn't too bad. But the roads are pretty flooded now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little scary. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good day. Yeah, you guys, the roads, whenever I was driving a Burger King, there were a lot of patches that were super flooded, and I always get scared. My car is soaked, though. Hi, how's it going? Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, thank you. So are you. That girl said I was pretty, and she literally looks like a model. Model working at Burger King, which she looks young, so I'm assuming she was pretty young, but she looks super tall. That girl was probably like five foot. Well, obviously, you can't really tell through a drive-through window, but she looked close to six foot, but I don't know. <laughs>
Okay guys, here's our Burger King bags. I believe in here we have the birthday pie. So let's go and check, ooh. Look at the packaging, okay. Love the packaging, Burger King. Y'all always slay on the packaging. And then in here, let's see what we got. Okay, we got the mozzarella sticks, heck yes. I kinda wanna go ahead and try these and see if we can get a cheese pull. Look at that texture, you guys. That looks like some Italian food right there. Okay, that seasoning on the outside. That is actually very impressive. Oh no. They didn't give us any marinara sauce. Shoot. Okay, well, it is pouring outside. I am not going back around and I'm not walking inside because I do not have the attire or the shoes to step out in this weather. So that is not happening. But honestly, they're still good without the marinara sauce. I mean... But don't get me wrong, marinara would be absolutely fire with these, but the outside coating has like the perfect amount of saltiness, but you also get what kind of tastes like Italian seasoning. Mmm. These are delicious. I definitely like these better than the regular mozzarella sticks just because they're kind of skinnier and like, I don't know, I really like that. They're super stringy too. Okay, I think I want to try the Philly Melt next because I think this is going to be delicious. I do love their melts. Okay, this thing is cheesy. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's the Philly Melt up close. It is very cheesy, but I love me some Swiss cheese. So, I already know it's about to be fire. Wow, it's very meaty because of the two patties, but the flavor, flavor is so good. I actually kind of see like the Philly cheesesteak vibe that it's going for. The sauce on here, so amazing. The bread is so soft as well. I mean, this is pretty scrumptious. Honestly, it's not my favorite melt ever. I do prefer their other ones a little bit more. So I would probably give that maybe like a 7.5 out of 10, but it's not bad at all. It's just kind of compared to the other ones, I would probably get their spicy version or maybe just the regular melt. Okay, here is the Philly. All these items names tend to escape my head because there's so many of them, but our Philly chicken wrap. So that's what it looks like. We can see the little peppers and onions sticking out. Okay. Now this is delicious. Okay, this blows the Philly melt out of the water. Mmm. This one is super juicy. The chicken is so soft and the sauce makes it taste even juicier. Even though the chicken is already juicy, that sauce just sauces it up to a whole other level. And then the peppers and onions are so tender. I love the flavor of the sauce. I feel like this sauce works so much better with the wrap as opposed to the burger. I forgot what that sauce was. What was it called? Oh, savory royal sauce. Have they had that sauce before or is that new? I should know this because I'm a BK stan. I should know the, the Burger King lore, but I'm not quite sure. That savory royal sauce, yeah, it just goes perfect perfect with this wrap this is the best wrap they've ever had oh my gosh it's rain i don't even know if you guys can tell i mean <laughs> i'm assuming you can hear it but wow that is so loud okay last up for burger king let's try this pie oh no it's melting that's what we're looking like. It doesn't look as pretty as it does in the picture just because the top got stuck or the lid got stuck to the top of the pie. But I mean, the colors look very colorful, pastel-y, pretty. Does it smell? It doesn't have too much of a smell to it. It kind of smells like custard. Ooh, it's got little like cake crumbles on top. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Mm. Oh, I didn't get the crust at the bottom. Okay, here we go. That looks absolutely delicious, and I gotta say, it does taste pretty good. Oh my gosh, the crust. The crust is amazing. Let's get it with some of the whipped cream. Okay. This right here, 10 out of 10. Did I rate the wrap? The wrap is 10 out of 10. I gave the burger 7.5 out of 10. And then, did I rate the mozzarella sticks? I think the mozzarella sticks, I'd probably give it 9 out of 10. I want to say this is a lot different than their, like, Hershey's pie. But to be honest, I don't quite remember the Hershey's pie. I tried it once before in a video. And I can't remember if it was the same where, like, most of the pie is that really creamy, thin, like, pie filling. Okay, guys, I must say Burger King went hard. They went hard with these new food items. Everything so delicious. Run to Burger King and try these items because wow, we are having a very successful food run today so far. Dunkin' was good, Burger King, 10 out of 10. We'll see if we can stay on the roll with these tasty food items, but I will see you guys at our next location for more new fast food items. Quick side note, you guys, because I always get so distracted and I forget to tell you things that I want to tell y'all, but I am obsessed with this song. It's called I Like the Way You Kiss Me by Artemis. It is so freaking good. I've been listening to it on repeat, and yeah, I just needed to give it a special mention because I am obsessed with it right now. All right, you guys, we are now at our next location, and that is Pizza Hut, and that's because they released a new melt and I actually have never tried their melts before so this is the first time trying any of their melts but the new one is called the cheeseburger melt it says that it is a parmesan crusted melt loaded with beef applewood smoked bacon onions mozzarella and cheddar served with burger sauce on the side so we have secured our Pizza Hut order now they did put everything in one box because Gabe cut pasta and they put it all in here so just ignore that but yeah, here's the melt that we're gonna be trying and it actually like I mean it doesn't resemble a Cheeseburger obviously is completely different, but I can see how they tried to make it like a cheeseburger No, no. Oh, can you guys see that? It looks very interesting. Hopefully it tastes good and then here's the burger sauce which it kind of just looks like a special sauce I guess can you guys see it better back here? Yeah. I mean, I almost want to say it looks like Big Mac sauce, but it's a little bit darker, but it kind of smells like it too. So maybe that's what <laughs> they tried to resemble. My camera is not wanting to stay in place. So sorry about this bizarre angle, but let's give this a try. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. The sauce is delicious. The actual melt, I don't know, it tastes a little bit overcooked, like, it's super crunchy. I do like the insides of it. Hmm. I don't know if you guys can tell, like, it looks not super burnt, but a little bit burnt. <laughs> Alright, let's try it on this side right here. Mm. okay taste wise it is good but i'm not a big fan of the outside crunchiness it kind of tastes like something that i've made before in the oven and i forgot about it and i left it too long in the oven and it's just overcooked so you could tell that the outside was you know <laughs> overcooked basically i don't know i feel like if it wasn't overcooked it would maybe be like a seven maybe 6.5 out of 10 as it is right now i think it's like a solid five out of ten it's okay it's not something i would reorder so there's that but you guys we are leaving for our beach trip next week on tuesday i am so excited i'm probably gonna try to vlog as much as i can we are gonna be like 25 30 minutes outside of charleston because we're actually staying on the beach but we're gonna be eating good okay we are gonna be eating real good in charleston and i think on the island they have some restaurants so we'll see what we eat there 
So we're gonna be getting lots to eat, which I'm excited about, but they do have a Raising Cane's, so I'm kinda like, should I do a Raising Cane's mukbang while we're down there? Is that something you guys would wanna see? If y'all don't care, I won't waste a meal going to Raising Cane's because I feel like there's just so many other options over there, but if that's something you would wanna see, I would definitely be down to get some Raising Cane's for lunchtime because I've only had Raising Cane's once on my channel. I've only had it once in general, so yeah, kinda thinking about doing a mukbang there, but let me know if that's something you guys would even wanna see. I don't know when the videos will start coming out for that vacation, but I hope I get lots of footage so I can share the trip with y'all. Okay, well, I don't know how much more of that I'm gonna eat. Not, not a huge fan. Okay guys, well that was the cheeseburger melt from Pizza Hut. To be honest, this pasta looks so much more yummier. I wanna take a bite of it, but I think we're gonna get one more item tomorrow. I believe the weather should be a little bit better. So yeah, hopefully I will see you guys back here tomorrow for one last new fast food item. All right, you guys, it is now the next day and I fear I may look a little crazy. I tried to do some white makeup, but it just didn't turn out right. So if I look a little wild, you know, please excuse me. <laughs> but we are currently at Sonic to finish off this video and get our last new fast food items. So I saw that they came out with this new orange cloud sickle slush float and this looks absolutely delicious. It does remind me of the orange frosty that just came out at Wendy's, which I did try and that was absolutely amazing. So if this is anything like that, I am definitely going to like this. And then they also possibly have new groovy fries. It says new groovy fries and groovy sauce coming to Sonic in May 2024. So obviously it is May. I haven't seen them be officially released. I also checked our Sonic menu on the website and I didn't see them on the menu. So I'm just going to ask and see if they have them. If they don't, I, I still kind of am craving some fries, so I may get some fries and cheese sauce, but we'll at least get the new orange cloud sickle slush float. So let's go ahead and pop into the drive thru. Hi, um, could I get one orange cloud sickle slush float, please? Of course. What else can we get for you? Um, do you guys have the groovy fries? You said do we have the groovy fries? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay, can I get the groovy fries and the groovy sauce, please? What else for you? Uh, that's gonna be it. Alrighty. That total comes out to a 715 at the window. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys. They have the groovy fries and the groovy sauce. I am so excited. Okay, I actually need to go back and see what the groovy sauce is. It kind of looks like Big Mac sauce. I don't know why everything looks like Big Mac sauce to me, but um, let's see. Okay, so it says the groovy sauce features the savory flavors of creamy ranch and herbs combined with a mild spice of sriracha. Groovy sauce can be requested for free with every groovy fry order. Although I'm kind of surprised, she said it was like $17. $17 for the slush and a french fry? That can't be right. Hi, how's it going? We'll right Thank up. you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thanks, have a good day. Oh, we didn't get the groovy sauce. Sorry, um, this was supposed to come with groovy sauce. Oh, oh. I didn't get any. Yeah, Thank you so much. Here, what's um, this? Yeah. I have no clue. I haven't tried it before. But it says it's supposed to be like ranch and sriracha. So I think, uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah Thank you too. All right, you guys, we've secured our Sonic bag. Also, this slush looks a lot different than what I thought it was gonna look like, but it does look super delicious, so I'm pretty excited to try it. Okay, so here's the orange cream sickle slush float. It actually is starting to look a little bit more like the picture now that the ice cream is kind of settling into the drink. As you can see, we have the little orange popping bubbles on top. This looks fantastic. All right, I'm gonna give it a good stir. Oh my gosh, look at that. Whoa, that really is an orange cream sickle dream. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My favorite part is definitely the little orange popping bubbles. I just love the way they feel whenever they pop in your mouth. <laughs> but also the flavor is really good. It does kind of taste like orange soda, which makes sense because it is a flute. I do really like that. All right, now let's check out the groovy fries. 
Look at those. They look so crispy and crunchy. Let's try it without the groovy sauce first. Oh my gosh. Do you guys hear that crunch? Look at that texture. Why do these taste like deep fried french fries? Let's try the groovy sauce. Okay, that's what it looks like up close. I can definitely see how it's more of a ranch mixed with sriracha. I did really want some cheese sauce to go with these, but you know, we gotta get the groovy sauce. Okay, actually that's so good. It's very salty. <laughs> so if you don't like a super salty sauce, I don't know if you like it, but I love it with how crispy these french fries are. Mmm. Oh, I didn't even mention the total was actually $7. I don't know why I heard $17. I swear I need to get my ears checked. I'm always hearing things that the person did not say, and I'm a good listener. At least I think I am. I'm a little worried about my comprehension of what it said. All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna keep munching on my groovy fries. I gotta give these a 10 out of 10 because they are just so crispy and delicious. Like the texture is amazing. The sauce I'd probably give like an 8 out of 10. I do think I would prefer these with cheese sauce but the groovy sauce is still good. And then for the slush I think I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. I do really like it. I just wish it had more of the flavor of like an orange push-up pop as opposed to orange soda because I don't love orange soda but I do still really like this and again the pop and bubbles. <laughs> I just love those so much. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try another round of new fast food items. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you all for watching. Please drop a thumbs up down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.